happy blessed Sunday to everyone. Uh, this morning, I'm I have decided to make some chicken and dumplings. As y'all see, I have my chicken in my pot. I hadn't seasoned it or anything. I have all of my um, vegetable chopped up. I have some onions, bell peppers, celery, and jalapenos. This is what I'm gonna I'm getting ready to add to my chicken. Okay, this morning this is what I got. This this is called chicken hen. Let me see. Let me chicken let me hen wings. Let me go back. These are called hen wings. Okay. Some people don't like the hen hens, but I do. And I'm gonna show y'all. And they make the best dumplings. But you do not have to use this type of chicken. This is what I'm going to use today. Okay. I'm getting ready to add my seasoning. I'm adding my salt. Got to add quite, uh, a heaping of it because you want your... My pepper. You want your uh, broth to become... You know, flavorful. So, okay, I got garlic powder. I'm adding. And I also have some onion powder that I'm adding. This onion powder always gets up. Okay. Adding that too, because we want our broth to be flavorful. Okay, let me move this out of the way. It's because I'm getting ready to add my vegetables. Okay. Adding my vegetables. Okay, all of them didn't come out. So I'm going to hip it out. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to push my vegetables all down in there. And I'm going to let this cook while I'm at church. I'm going to turn this down really, really low. But if I was at home, I will left it on maybe like medium and let it cook. But I'm going to turn it down low. And so, uh, y'all, I'm going to be back. How have y'all day been? I'm, I am, y'all, excuse me. I didn't even ask y'all how have y'all day been or anything. I am so sorry. How have y'all day been? I hope y'all, they have been fine, lovely, blessed. Okay, I'm going to put my seasonings up. But um, I just wanted to, uh, I want to shout out to my all my uh, viewers and my subscribers. I, I am so thankful for you all. Thank y'all for just supporting me. Thank y'all for y'all comments. Thank y'all for being, in, being an inspiration to me. And I'm just, I am, I am really, truly, truly blessed to have y'all in my life. Okay. Well, uh, y'all, like I said, I'm getting ready to um, get ready to go to church. Another thing I want to go going to tell y'all, y'all probably wondering why ain't she putting videos up? Y'all, I have been busy making Christmas wreaths for uh, some people at my church, and um, I started off just making it for myself, showing just showing it, and they loves my wreaths, and so that's what I have been busy doing. Also, so I'm in between teaching my daughter, um, uh, doing my channel, and making the wreaths. And so, um, I, I have been a little busy. I am so sorry. But I'm going to make it up to y'all because I, I'm working on my last one now. And so, um, y'all, I am so sorry. <laughs> but um, I'm going to make it up to y'all. All right, um, I'm getting ready to close this out. Like I said, I'm getting ready to go to church. I'm going to let this start boiling. I'm going to turn it down low. 
very low, probably to maybe two. I'm going to let it start boiling. And then while I'm getting dressed, I really will um, set my my uh, temperature because right now I have to see how low I want it to boil. Okay, um, like I said, I'm using chicken, the, the chicken hen wings. But if you do not like those hen, the hen meat, some people don't like it because of the texture. But they make very, very good dumplings, chicken and dumplings. Uh, and also, um, if you don't have the wings, you can use the whole hen. This is what I do. If I had a whole hen, I would cut it up just like you're cutting up a chicken. Some of y'all, you all may not know how to cut up a chicken. One of these days, I'm going to show y'all how I cut up mine. But um, some of you do. If, if you know how to cut up a chicken, uh, let your uh, hen thaw out and just cut it up just like you would cut up um, a regular um, fryer. And so, uh, chicken fryer. So, um, that's what you do. And boil it just like I'm doing here. Put your uh, onion peppers and celery in there. I'm putting these in there because... Uh, they may disintegrate sometime. It all depends on how long it's going to take these wings to get done. Because it's going to take a good three hours, three to four hours to get ready. So, um, like I said, it's going to take a while. But, um, like I say, if you don't do not like the, like the hen pieces, just use the regular, you can use just drumsticks. You can use just regular chicken wings. You can use uh, chicken breath. Uh, legs and thighs, you know, anything like that, it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I, what I do, I like I say, I just boil mine and get, get my broth really flavorful. And then I'm going to get ready to make and add my dumplings. Okay, y'all, y'all have a blessed day, rest, blessed day for now, because I'm going to be back. As soon as I get back from church and get myself together, then I'm going to make the dumplings and add them to the chicken. Okay. I'll be back. See you in a second. Okay, as y'all can see here, um, I have added maybe like three cups of flour, and I put like four pats of butter in um, in my bowl. I'm getting ready to make my dumplings up. I need to turn this down some. Let me turn my uh, broth down just a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to just work my way, work it in there. No, I'm not making pie crust. I just want that butter. Now, this is real butter I put in there. I just want that butter in there. Every, I don't see people make these so many different ways. So, I'm wondering what is the right way. I don't think it's one. If y'all know, y'all let me know. I don't see so many different recipes on dumplings and I'm going to add just a little bit of salt just a little bit because remember the broth had salt in it I'm just going to put just a little bit just a, just a little bit if you don't want to you don't have to but this is the way I'm doing it okay I think I don't work it in there uh, I worked it in there really good, okay. Now here I got some some water. Some people use uh the broth that the that the uh, chicken has in it, but I'm not gonna do that. Mix it up. Get flour everywhere. Put me some. This is cool water. I don't hear it so many different ways how to make chicken and dumplings. I have done it both ways. I have used just flour, 
pure water. Some people even use chicken broth. Cold chicken broth. Like I say, I'm not making a whole lot today. I love those hen wings. I love the hens anyway. Some people don't like them. Some of my kids, they don't even like them. But I do. Okay, I'm going to move this over here. Let's see if y'all can see. What I did, I just put some uh, flour on my countertop. Y'all can see, I just put some flour down there on my countertop, and I'm going to get ready to I don't think I'm going to put all of it. I'm going to put part of it. Okay, let me move this out of my way. Y'all, I got to wash my hands. I know the dough is going to get back on it, but I'm going to be washing my hands, okay? I have also put some, some uh, flour on my pan. Okay, you do. Just roll. Uh-oh, some more flour on there. So you don't supposed to do that. Make sure you flour your area. Make sure you flour your area really well. Okay. There is no perfect dumplings. They're gonna always, it's they're gonna always uh not be, you know, in perfect uh perfect what I'm trying to say, squares. Not gonna get perfect squares every time. I'm trying to find me a knife. Okay. This so is what I'm gonna do, as y'all see. I'm just gonna just cut them. Get ready to add them to my pot. Okay. Let me move my camera over. Get ready to move my camera over so y'all can see this. I want y'all to see it. Y'all, I got flour everywhere. Okay. 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 I just added one. Okay, now I'm turning my heat back up so y'all can see okay okay I'm just gonna cut my uh, dough into squares or rectangles or whatever whatever you want to call them just gonna put them in there Dumplings are so simple to make. It just take a lot of time to do it. You know, you got to cook your um, chicken. You know, some people even make theirs uh, uh, like biscuits. I have never tried that way, but they look so good. I'm going to try to make these bigger. Y'all see? These are the old-fashioned ones. These are the old-fashioned dumplings. Okay. 
Okay. Just put them in there. All sides, so y'all got even small ones. I'm putting in there. Okay. Y'all see how I'm doing them? This one thing my mother used to tell me. She said, never put a top on dumplings. She said, never. But if y'all know a recipe that you can do it, y'all go ahead and do it. You know, if some people going to always say, you know, uh, they tell me it's okay to put, uh, you do that. You can make this recipe yours. Make it yours. Not Miss D's. Make it yours. Since I've been cooking, I, I say I have found out there are so many different ways to do something that you've been cooking for years. There are so many different ways people have done it. And that's the way they was taught. And so I'm not going to tell you you can't uh, put a top on that. But I'm just telling you what my mother told me not to do. Because there's a lot of things she taught me how to do. Her way. That I'm sure somebody taught her that way. But we can't go down, you know, and say, that's not the way to do it. Well, everybody been taught different. Everybody been taught different. Okay. Okay. Let me turn my, I'm going to try to turn this up just a little bit more. Let me turn it up just a little bit more. Okay. You supposed to just let those cook. I still got some more I'm getting ready to put in there. I'm just telling y'all in advance to um, just let let them uh, just cook until they get the texture that you want them to be. Okay. See what I'm doing? I'm getting ready to see over there. I got some more that I need to roll out. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Just in case y'all wondering what I was doing. Okay. Ready to cut some more. Y'all can see. Just keep cutting. Okay, let me take you back to my pot. Okay. It's something about that butter when you, you know that butter in there. There's something about that butter. Okay, I got a few more to put in here. Okay. 
point. I think I'm going to cut these in half. I got like six more. I'm going to put in here. I'm going to cut them in half. stir them. I'm trying to move them over. I'm not going to stir them. She also told me do not stir them for some reason. I used to love to, my mother make those peach cobblers and blackberry cobblers. Oh, they was good. And y'all know what? I'm going to share it with y'all. She can make those peach cobblers and blackberry cobblers. Y'all remember back in the day? Some of y'all may not know what we're talking about. Back in the day, we used to go blackberry picking. We go and pick um, uh, blackberries. <laughs> those bring back memories. And for some reason, when we go uh blackberry picking seemed like somebody will always bring up snakes and i was a little child and you know little kid they they go to gonna be scared so okay they would mention a snake so you know there's snakes in those uh um in those branches and over there in that uh those thickets and stuff. And scares me every time. Okay, y'all. I'm going to let these cook. I'm going to let these cook. Sorry. I'm trying to wipe up my stove. Um, and I'm going to be back with the final result. Be back with the final results. Okay, y'all, I decided to come back. I'm going to get ready to add my chicken. I forgot to tell y'all what to do. Okay, I'm going to put a few pieces of chicken in here. I'm not going to put all my wings in here. Just only a few. And, and some probably, and y'all probably say, she ain't going to debone it. No, I'm not going to debone this. I'm showing y'all the way we used to get the hours and plus with this hen now the chicken is be fine if you want to debone it but with hen for some reason i don't want mine debone okay y'all welcome to do it and i know a lot of y'all going to do it and there's nothing wrong with deboning your chicken nothing nothing at all i'm showing y'all see how good they look I'm going to cover them up with I think I'm going to put a couple more pieces in there Y'all see that broth? Let me show y'all this broth See this broth? See there? That hand makes very, very good broth Yes, it does. It makes very, very good broth. Add another piece of chicken. Hen. I'm calling it chicken. But it's hen. Hen. I try not to move them a lot. Like I said, my mother used to tell us not to stir. Not stir a whole lot. I remember when we she used to teach me how to make our pinto beans or red beans. She'll tell us don't stir them. See how good they look, y'all. I'm gonna let those. I'm gonna turn them down just a little bit 
And I'm just going to let them cook just like that with no lid on it or anything. I'm going to let them cook just like that. I decided to come back and show y'all everything. I want y'all to show y'all how you can add your chicken after you put your dumplings in there. Because you don't want them, your chicken just to be shredded. But some people do like they're shredded into, you know, the strainy pieces. But I don't. And so that's why I waited before the dumplings got completely done to add it. Alrighty, when I get back, I'm going to show y'all my final result. Okay, y'all. I have turned my heat down, but it's still boiling. But I'm, I'm getting ready to show y'all my end result of my chicken and dumplings. Okay, I'm putting my piece of meat on there. And my dumplings. Can y'all see? Okay, y'all can see that? There you go. That's my, let me add one more dumpling on there. Okay, okay, there you have it. My homemade chicken and dumplings. Y'all have a blessed day. Um, y'all, you can also just, like I say, just sit and enjoy it. Uh, you can add, um, it can be added to various dishes that if you're like at a party or anything you can take it to your family gathering or wherever well y'all i'm getting ready to go like i said see i went ahead and did this after i got out of church today so i'm i'm getting ready to close okay ho happy holidays to y'all or happy day to y'all happy blessed day to y'all i'll see you on another video okay Bye-bye for now.